everyone. It's me, Brittany. And Eric. And you're watching the Smoky Mountain Family. The girls are still in Kentucky, and today we're at... We're at Governor's Crossing at Southeast Cinemas, and we're about to go check out a movie. It's called Nope by Jordan Peele. Really good director. I'm really liking his stuff, so I'm excited to go check it out on the big screen. Let's get it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Pictures, they just trace me. So we got everything. I believe we're good. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Awesome. 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 Recliners, though. So it's got the 55 inch screen and it's got Dolby surround sound. Love the cute little hot air balloon. Yeah. You over here acting like you own the place. Your feet all kicked up. My feet can't even touch the floor. How tall are you? 6'2. I'm you are not. <laughs> Get you some of that right there. Huh? All stressed out. Near the front of the auditorium. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the feature presentation. Alright, so that was Governor's Crossing Stadium. I'm gonna jump in with the rating. I think I'm gonna rate it an eight. I like the surround sound. The reclining chairs were cool, but it was just like an awkward recline. I just ended up putting my recline back down just because when you recline, your head like goes up. So you have to do like a crunch to watch <laughs> the movie. The surround sound was amazing though. I mean, it was, made you feel like you were there. The bathroom, I did like that there was multiple ones. Like when I walked out of the theater, it was like right there for the women's, but there was one sink of like five working so everyone was in line to use the sink i don't know it's just really weird i don't know that i would come to this location again the employees were super nice and helpful and they try to give you discounts as in like pairing your mm -hmm. your things that you order into a combo that will take off money but um the five dollar one in pigeon forge it it they they treat you as well and i don't know that this is worth more here and it's kind of like in the one of the biggest traffic locations in the area so I would probably just go to the other cinema myself so it's an eight yeah um, so I'm gonna give it I'm probably gonna give it a seven um, I do like when you when you go up to order they do have uh, fountain drinks that you can fill up yourself so that that's a big plus so I mean if you do run out of something to drink you can go back out there and uh, fill it up again without having to wait in line, without having to talk to, you know, 
talk to an employee or anything like that. You can just go out there and get it yourself. The popcorn situation was cool too. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so if you get some some popcorn, you can go and scoop it, and then you can you know put the butter or the salt or whatever, however much you want. Layer it. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, the recliners were nice. I mean, I was like, you know, folded up in there a little bit and, and, you know, was able to twist and turn and situate. But yeah, as far as actually laying back, um, the headrest didn't really come up. So that was difficult. The 55 inch screens here, we did do the, uh, this wasn't the, the theater that we were in, isn't their standard one. Uh, so it's a bigger screen, Dolby surround sound all the way around. I mean, it puts you in there like you were it was an immersive experience you know if if there's something if i'm going to watch something that really requires that mm -hmm. you know that needs the bigger screen like uh, i think that avatar is coming out uh, in a few months or maybe jurassic next year world or something like cool. that jurassic world something like that that's a visual spectacle mm -hmm. and not to say that jordan's you know jordan peele did a did a good job as far as the uh as far as the visuals in this uh, the movie, I, it didn't really hit my expectations. I was really, I was really looking forward to this, and but um, you know, if I'm if I'm coming somewhere where I need that surround sound, that immersive experience, and the huge screen, I would come here. Uh, but for just your standard movie, I'm probably just going to, to Pigeon Forge Cinema and checking it out there. But yeah. all right, anything else? Nope. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Okay, so before we end the video here, some of you had expressed wanting to see some directions and things like that, and we thought this would definitely apply to this cinema, being that it's kind of tucked back away where it's not in plain view. So using Google Earth here, you can see Governor's Crossing Stadium 14, which is the theater that we was at in the video. If you look over here to the left, you can see this is Walmart and Walmart parking lot. And Vertically on your screen, you're going to see US 441, which is Parkway, and then running horizontally, you will see Collier Drive. So if you're coming in from Sevierville, you'd want to take a left there on Collier, and this will take you over just a little bit past Quaker Steak and Lube, and take a left, and that'll take you straight up to the stadium. Okay, so for the second theater that we mentioned, it's Ford Cinemas. This is kind of still tucked away, but a little more recognizable. It is in Lumberjack Square. So you can see a row kind of curving in from the left there. That's still 441, the more prominent highway that you see on the screen. Running from left to right at the top of the screen is Wares Valley Road. If you see Lumberjack Square, you can park right there, walk back in, and the big white building in the center of the screen, that is Ford Cinema. This Google Earth image must have been taken quite a while ago because there is not putt-putt there, even though it appears to be. Ultimately, either one of these theaters is going to serve their purpose. I'd say if you have a large group, the $5 per person at the Ford Cinema is probably going to be the more economical option. Uh, again, as we stated in the review there, if you're seeing a bigger production that uh, focuses on visuals and sound and things like that, maybe the Governor's Crossing Stadium would be the better choice. But again, I don't think you'll be disappointed in either one. So now we're actually going to let you go. Thanks again. If you made it this far, like if you liked it. Comment if you're a fan. Subscribe if you're feeling it. If not, that's okay too. Wow.